Hello, this is Daniel from the Law Office of Brian Fagan. I'm one of the attorneys here. I've been working here at the Law Office of Brian Fagan for over a year and a half. And the question I'm going to cover today is uh, child support was the most you can pay and if there are any exceptions to it. Well, uh, generally you pay, we we'll start with one child to make things, to keep things easy. Start with one child, according to the law in Texas, the guideline child support is 20% of your net resources. So your net resources will include uh, your gross income minus your federal taxes, uh, certain medical uh, insurance that you cover. Okay, not the entire deduction from your paycheck is your net resources, okay? For example, if you have a voluntary 401k, that does not count. However, if your job requires you to have 401k or pension for example if you were a police officer and they have to take that money from your paycheck yes that will count or if you're a teacher you have to contribute to your tros that will count so that has to be subtracted to get your non resources but if you're just like a regular employee like me and you voluntarily contribute to your 401k that does not count so what is that number where well, for most people it will be your net, re net resources, uh, anywhere between a few thousand to maybe 9,200. The most that can be used to determine uh, child support is 9,200 as of right now. That law changed in September of 2019. So 20% of 9,200 will be the most for one child. For each additional children, you add 5%. If you have other children that you're taking care of that are not part of the case before the court, you, you get a discount of 2.5%. If you have any questions regarding family law related issues, please visit our law webs website at www.brianfagan.com. Thank you.